My name is Xie Feng. I am the Minister of the Chinese Embassy. On behalf of Ambassador Zhou Wenzhong and the Chinese Embassy, I would like to warmly welcome you all to the new Chancellor of the Chinese Embassy. We are having a happy gathering here this evening. First, the Institute for Education will present Ambassador Zhou Wenzhong the 2009 Civility Award. Second, we are commemorating the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between China and the United States. And last but not least, we are celebrating the moving of the Chinese Embassy to this new chancellery. In addition to congressmen, government officials, business and educational leaders, we are also very glad to have with us this evening distinguished friends from the media. On behalf of Ambassador Zhou Wenzhong and the Chinese Embassy, I would like to express our heartfelt thanks to all of you who have contributed to enhancing mutual understanding, friendship, and cooperation between Chinese and American peoples over the years. I hope you will continue to have we, are, we will continue to have your strong support in the years ahead. As a token of our appreciation, we have prepared tonight some Chinese food, but served in Western style. We have invited two Chinese artists, a pianist and a violinist, who will play Western masterpieces. We have also assigned at least one of our diplomats to each of the table to share this wonderful evening with you. With that, I wish this evening's event a great success. I hope you will enjoy the food, enjoy the music, and enjoy the conversation. And I wish you all a happy time in the Chinese Embassy. Now, may I turn the podium over to Madame Kathy Kemper, CEO of the Institute for Education. Thank you. Well, I've, I've never been called Madame Kathy Kemper before. It's usually coach, so I like that. Thank you very much. And Xie Xie, and welcome all of you. Ambassador Zhou, on behalf of the Institute, where are you, Ambassador Zhou? There you are. Of Institute for Education, thank you for welcoming us all to your breathtaking IMP designed embassy. It is an architectural marvel. This building reminds me of being in Beijing for the 29th Olympiad. It is precise and purposeful architecture, and it aligns with Chinese principles, just as the bird's nest and water cube did. Beauty, harmony, peace, and balance. It is an honor to be a part of its historic debut in our capital city. Now, we're all here tonight to celebrate and honor Ambassador Zhou Wingzong, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the People's Republic of China to the United States. We award him with the 2009 Civility Award. It is the highest honor that the Institute for Education confers upon leaders in the world community. We celebrate China's extraordinary performance in the 29th Olympiad and embrace its leadership in our world community. Secretary Eagleberger, thank you, welcome to you. And I have to say, Secretary Eagleberger, I'm a tennis coach, and in sports parlance, you are an extraordinary champion to travel from Charlottesville, Virginia, on the heels of major surgery to commemorate this special evening. You are one great statesman of our country, and we are all honored and grateful to have you here with us this evening. First, I want to thank the IME leadership that is here with us this evening. Chairman George Rainberg, if you could just raise your hand, George, and show everybody who you are. George is chairman of our Institute for Education Civility Program, the Politics of Common Ground. And so we have some trustees with us tonight. Trustee Morton Kondracki, Morton, there we go. And Robert Shapiro and Shane Green. Thank you, Shane. And chairman of our Board of Stewards, Marcy Robinson. Welcome and thank you to you. I want to thank our IFE investors that are here with us. Chris Kane of Merkhead Tour, 22, 21. <laughs> um, Robert Sapiro of Thompson Coburn. Where's Robert? Thank you, Robert. And Beverly Perry with Pepco. Thank you, Beverly. And Tony Chang of Tony Chang's Restaurants, the best Chinese restaurant here. Where's Tony? 
Thank you, Tony. And of course, Jim Valentine, my wonderful husband, and Valentine and Company. Where's Jim Valentine? Thank you, James. It's a good thing to support your wife. I also want to recognize our former IFB Civility Award recipients that are here with us. Congressman Tom Davis is here. There we go. Hi, Tom. It's good to see you. And Tony, former Mayor Williams, Tony Williams. Where are you, Tony? There you are. Welcome to you all. I'm very grateful to Minister Shea and his colleagues of the Embassy for their cooperation and helpful attitude in organizing this wonderful evening. And I want to also extend our gratitude to the diplomats and our esteemed opinion leaders who will be leading the discussions this evening. And last, I want to show off our IFE Youth Global Citizens who have been helping out. And many of them are standing in the back there. These are interns and students from local and public private schools. Many of them have traveled to China for community service work and have explored best practices for water and climate preservation from Chinese students. IFE edu educates not only adults, but, but not only grown-ups, but youth for effective and responsible world citizenship. Now, what makes this evening very historical is twofold. Never before has IFE awarded our Civility Prize to an international leader. Ambassador Zhou, congratulations on being the very first. And second, never before have so many esteemed opinion leaders and diplomats been assembled to moderate a vibrant discussion on China and the U.S., our vital partnership. On that note, we have specific goals in mind for this evening. To provide an, op an outstanding opportunity for you, leaders in government, business, and the media, to share ideas with one another, to cultivate enduring friendships, and all of you, in the spirit of civility, to highlight IFE's ongoing work in promoting civility, the politics of common ground throughout the world. IFE believes that camaraderie, civility, dialogue, sharing meals like we are this evening, hospitality, and laughter, always a lot of laughter. This can be the anchor our two countries need to meet the challenges that confront the world. As the relationship between China and the United States grows, I cannot think of a better way to pay tribute to it than to have one of America's most distinguished statesmen, the 62nd United States Secretary of State, Lawrence Eagleberg, present Ambassador Zhou with his this year's Civility Award. Now, please all enjoy this fabulous Chinese hospitality and friendship, laugh in the spirit of civility, and finding common grounds in your discussions. Thank you.